All right, guys. Well, again, good morning, everyone coming in. Um, happy to see everyone. Well, week 14, if I'm not mistaken. Is that what's going on here? Well, it is week 14. Okay, guys. Well, again, um, hopefully you're 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 doing well hopefully you're doing fine um again i just want to say good job everyone on, on all of the work that you've been doing um i try to be um active this weekend on instagram uh seeing your guys work right you see some of it uh, right there on the screen um i really encourage everyone to um follow each other right uh remember that you still have access to the uh, spreadsheet um, that it's under the announcements right um, if you scroll down right um, this is the spreadsheet now you click on the spreadsheet and the um, each of you guys links is right here right your Instagram account go ahead and open that up I think this is actually a great one to open. Um, Jeanette, right? Uh, really, really awesome work. Really great work. So, I mean, it's week 14 by now. I hope that you have, you're have you now very familiar and acquainted with your classmates' uh, accounts and works and names. And I see each other. I, I see you guys keep helping each other and, you know, providing support. I just want to say how great that is, uh, both for you as the as the person providing support, and for you that person receiving the support, right? So again, um, if you haven't done so, uh, I think a few people updated their um, their profiles. Uh, like for example, I think uh, Suriel, uh, we need to update yours. I think you're using a different account for your academic work um if you guys have you guys seen your grades right um i provided a grade for um participation and uh i got a question on that good question is that the final grade uh no of course it's sort of a progress grade but for example right if i was Reviewing, and I think this happened with actually Suriel because I think uh, uh, Suriel emailed me, right? But you know, I'm I'm gonna check Suriel's uh, progress in class, right, and his work so far. I click on the journal, and uh, of course, I don't see the the school the the class related work that I'm looking for, right? So perhaps that might or or not perhaps, but that will give you a a not so favorable grade for the uh, journal right so for those of you guys here and for those of you watching this recorded make sure that again this uh, address uh, this uh, page is up to date and there was some really weird instance that for example Matthews right when I clicked on it it was sending me to someone else another person's profile and I wasn't able to see his right here rather than being Matthew architecture that was really weird I think it was and the odd part is that it was another architecture student. So I think it was this Matt architecture. And it was taking me to this account. And I was like, whoa, man, this is great work. It's just that none of this work is from this class. <laughs> so I was very confused with Matthew, right? Um, but, you know, of course, he emailed me right away. I was like, hey, what's going on? Munoz, I've been doing all my work. And I was like, okay, that, that's, that, that's great then let's let's get this fixed here because I don't see it. <laughs> and and again, you know, I'm not familiar, unfortunately I'm not familiar with either your name or your faces uh, that much right now. So anyway, just make sure that that all of this squares out, right? And that uh, we're good, we're good to go. Um, so again, follow each other and uh, see all the, the great work that, that you guys have been doing so far. While I'm on it, I, um, included uh, this announcement right here. Um, hmm, I think this is actually for second year students. Um, maybe just in case. Um, 
I don't think any of you guys is a second year student, but anyway, the scholarship is available every year. I think it's yearly. I think it's all is usually in the fall. Um, so you know you'll be there uh, next fall uh, when you're a second year student. So anyway, um, be on the lookout for this. Uh, and and again, this is where again GPA plays a factor. You know. Um, and of course, a short essay on the goals and why architecture was selected as a future profession. This is this is Oscar. Oscar uh, was one of my students, um, you know, for Studio One actually. And right now, he there he is. Uh, anyone knows what this building is? Anyone know who's the architect of this building? And or does anyone know where this building is located right here in this photograph? Just curious. Does anyone know? Ooh, all right. Isis, the pop quiz right here. Isis, Frank Gehry was the architect. All right, so Isis, right there, recognizing that. How do you know that, Isis? Where you let that, learn that from? And then, Crystal, I like this, teamwork, the dancing house, right? Famously known as the dancing house. Lastly, does anyone know the location? I'm just curious. You can look it up, but not as fun. Right. Does anyone happen to know where this building is located? I'll give you a clue. It's in Europe. Amsterdam. Ooh. Kind of, but no, not really. Close, but everything is close in Europe, right? Um, it's not Amsterdam. It's Prague, right? Prague in the Czech Republic. Um, it's really cool. If you ever get a chance, uh, Prague is it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's actually really, really cool. But anyway, they got a little bar right here on the top. Right? So if you're ever in Prague, I, never, I didn't know this when I was there. And this is where social media pays off. And I took a photograph from the outside, right? I was like, Psh, right? And because it's, you know, it's a pretty famous building. And here I am, right? It's like, oh my god, an architectural masterpiece. And then I post it online, and then a friend is like, make sure that you go to the top. There's a bar, a coffee bar up here on the top, right? Make sure that you go up there. Well, actually, the elevator is right here, and then you can go. There's like this little terrace right here that you can have like a 360 view of the city. Um, but it's like just go into the lobby and just say that you're going to the, to the cafe up to the top. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could actually go in and into the lobby and into the building. Right. Of course, there's some apartments, but there's a public access to the top right here. So that was pretty cool. It's free. I think actually you have to buy like a, like a drink at the coffee or something like coffee or something like that to like hang out or something. Um, but they serve shirts, souvenirs in the bottom floor right there. So again, um, we would do a summer trip every summer, but of course. COVID hit, um, and this is actually more Professor Mireles and, and Professor Lindstrom, right? Professor Lindstrom and Mireles, they each organize yearly summer trips. Um, I didn't, I, when I was there, I wasn't with them. I was on my own, but uh, but again, you know, I mean, the, the, the architecture department used to organize Europe trips. So I don't know about this 2021 summer, but perhaps later on, just be on the lookout for these um, so, uh, trips that the faculty organizes. And if not, just do it along, guys. Travel, travel as much as you can. Um, anyway, so those are the announcements right there. Uh, hopefully, you got to see that. And I apologize if you get another message on that on the Remind app uh, later on. Cool. A uh, final projects, guys. Final projects right here. Let me, let me let's, let's talk about that. Because uh, again, like I mentioned, I was on Instagram um, this weekend approving uh, some of the work that you guys have uh, created. Don't forget to tag me, right? Don't forget uh, right now. 
you know, eh, I'll, I'll do it, right? I mean, if I go right here, uh, like for example, I think this is this is you actually, Isis, no? Is this Isis? Yes, me Sepulveda, right? Mr. Sepulveda. So for example, Isis just tagged me on her models, right? Oh man, look at this. I have not seen these ones, right? So top, front, and side. Again, guys, just ojo, right? I mean, keep an eye with the instructions, right? Miss Maser, right, Miss Maser? Um, instructions, guys, instructions. Uh, so thank you, Isis. I haven't taken a look at this, right? Um, but it looks great, All right, Isis? So we'll talk. Uh, I love this too, right? I mean, the, the concepts right here, ascension, aligned, and exaltation. Nice. I will take some time and read this. And and again, if um, if once we're, once we're done today, if, if you want to stick around and you want to talk about your project, I'm happy to do so. Okay, so trying to get everyone as fast as possible out of here. I all know I always say that, but you know, let's see how fast we can get you guys out of here. Um, there's some work due tonight, right? So some of you guys might be work. Hopefully, you're working right now. You can do lines and you can listen to the conversation at the same time. So perhaps you're working on your drawings right now, which is okay. Um, so again, I got some uh, some reviews to do right here for this project right here. But don't forget to uh, again tag me. Right? As some of this, uh, some of you guys have been doing, right? Uh, we have a uh, Batra, if I'm not mistaken, right here, um, with some of her. Ah, that's that's a uh, nice lighting right here, Batra. I'm not sure if that's uh, intentional or or not. The nice, nice, nice shadows rather casting in the background, um, even here. You know, perhaps a little bit of alignment in terms of the the model and the backdrop, but uh, it's it's nice. Some of, some of this ones right here. All right, so take a look. Ah, oh, this is really nice too. This is really cool. Um, this is very very uh, exciting. Um, so let's see where were we? So this is from last week. Uh, this is for today. So just think maybe a, a look right here into the, the calendar. Um, so tonight, right, um, I think 2 a.m. in the morning, which is technically next tomorrow morning, right? It's the uh, the, the drawings and the uh, basic P3, right? I mean, the, the project P3. So that would be, um, I'm just going to go into the first um, studio class right here. Right, project number three. That would be the compositional studies and then multi view drawings. Oh, this got, this got a little bit intense. Hold on, guys. Let's maybe take it easy for right now. Um, right, the uh, compositional studies and the multi view drawings right here. Okay, okay, okay. Good, great question. Great question. Please. Questions right now. This is the moment, perfect moment for question. Natalia, Professor, the drawing is just for one of the configurations, correct? That is absolutely correct. All right, Natalia, that's why it's important that, um, you know, we don't need to talk. Right? I mean, um, so far, I had just been um, kind of just telling people, right? I mean, okay, do this one, do that one. Uh, like, I think you're right here for Jeanette. I think we. I might have asked Janet to do this one, right? Yeah, so I say let's go with this one. Um, op option number three, flotation, all right? So for example, you know, kind of like giving my stamp of approval to uh, Janet right here, right? And I think Will, if we go to Will's account, you can see he already has, I think uh, perhaps one of the few, if not the only person that I've seen that has posted, uh, um, their drawings, uh, their initial pencil drawings right here, which by the way, check out the uh, the awesome work that your classmates are doing in graphics. We're doing a logo right there. You know, you see that application right there, but going into our assignment, you see the pencil drawings right here. All right. So they're right here. And again, you know, uh, we're using uh, William as an example right here, right? Um, 
So, I mean, again, we'll, we'll, we'll use William right here to learn. Not that I'm picking on William necessarily, but this applies to everyone, okay? So we have the drawing right here. And, and again, uh, I'm bringing this up because you guys will develop your final drawings. And um, let's talk about this right now rather than on the final project, right? Or rather than me making these comments once I'm creating this, right? So um, we have, of course, you know, the titles and the names, right? Let's start working with hierarchy, right? I would say that hierarchy, hierarchy, right? Hierarchy, right? Hierarchy, right? Spanish, jerarquía, right? Hierarchy. What does that mean? Well, that the name and this information right here, you know, that could be smaller, right? And, you know, I'll let you guys design your, your sheet layout, right? Uh, that, that usually, I like to put that information on the bottom right corner, right? But you can leave it right there. I think for me, it's just the size, right? I mean, this size could be smaller, right? Um, because it's information that is not that critical, right? But for example, the title right here, that could be larger, right? Uh, and I'm sorry, the, the drawing is actually, the drawing is actually, um, I'm sorry, the title is actually sort of this line and this line, right? So you, some of you guys, um, a lot of you guys are in graphics with me now, all right? And I think actually, Will is a great example, right? Um, if we look at some of the work, right, that you guys have produced in graphics, right, and of course, we're learning this in graphics, but as we're learning it, let's apply it, right? So, and again, you don't have to mimic this, but this illustrates what I'm talking about, right? So there's a hierarchy right here in titles, right? I mean, sizes, right? And again, it, it helps to both communicate what the assignment is about. And it also communicates to the user, right? I mean, what is this about? So you always gotta take into account that the work that you're doing right now, you are highly familiar with what this work is. But outside of this class and your instructor, nobody really knows what's going on, right? So always approach your assignments, right? As if they were, being looked at and seen for the first time by a, um, what's called a, um, a stranger's eye, right? I mean, someone that is completely foreign to this assignment. Uh, and we talked about portfolios last class, right? So, uh, you know, this illustrates that. So let's borrow from this. And then again, it doesn't mean that you have to copy, right, the location and positioning of this, right? Um, but we can apply the lessons that we have learned in graphics. And again, if you're perhaps in another graphics class, uh, I'm sure that, you know, you, I will point, we'll talk about that, okay? So taking that into account, right, the graphics uh, lessons, we can start applying that into our uh, handwork. Now, we can then understand that this takes on to a different sort of uh, um, role and into a different kind of a, a priority doing it by hand, right? It's very easy digitally to do a text box and then select it and change the font size, right? If we're doing it by hand, we need to actually plan for that, right? I do see that Will, is giving himself uh, guidelines, right? These guidelines right here, that's really good. That's really good, right? But as you're planning for your text, right? I mean, those guidelines need to, need to uh, follow or prepare you for what you're about to do. So perhaps you start using a sort of a system, right? I mean, uh, big letters are gonna be three lines high, right? Medium are gonna be two, and smaller are gonna be one. You know, just as, a, as an example, right? Um, so that you can start developing, again, this hierarchy in text and, and creating this ultimate final presentation that you're developing, right? Um, but very good, you know, I mean, very good. It has the, the, 
the top view right here. So the top view, for example, I would actually bring it. That would be more of a drawing title rather than a sheet title. There's a difference right I mean, between the sheet title and the drawing title, especially when you have a collection of drawings that are, are within the same page. Uh, not our case, but you know, it's, it's OK to start practicing. So I would actually maybe add that drawing title somewhere over here. And as a matter of fact, I would actually try to center this drawing somewhere along the page, right? So that is not kind of uh, on the bottom left corner. Again, these are all very simple things that we can do digitally. But once they're done by hand, right, it takes a certain planning beforehand, right? You need to first kind of uh, lay out the sheet, right, prior to, right, prior to start doing lines, right, which, again, it's kind of like we immediately want to start drawing, right? But hopefully by now you understand that this whole process, architectural process, requires a good amount of planning at all steps, right? I mean, in all processes of the assignment, uh, whether you're making a model or you're doing a drawing, OK? So moving this object right here or the drawing right there, um, this is the top view, right? So um, and perhaps it wasn't explicitly mentioned, right? But I don't think the base is on this drawing. So let's make sure that we include the base, right? I'm not sure. It may be with pencil. It's just that I, I cannot see it, right? So we include the base as well, right? And I'll talk about how the base looks or appears on elevation. This is a top view again. Um, but other than that, I mean, really good, right? I mean, the, the drawing is clean. Um, it, William is showing the thicknesses not only of the volumes and the slabs, but also of the, um, the struts in this case, right? So that's really good. Um, and just FYI, for the final one, we're not going to need any annotations, OK? Uh, that's OK. This, this drawing right here, this is a sketch, right? So it could, this, hopefully this sketch, you use it for what? To build your final model. So ultimately, this drawing that, that, that I'm looking at right now from Will, this is actually becomes a little bit of your, um, your blueprint, right, for your final model. So then, right onto this drawing right now, after you upload it, right, this now can become a working sketch, meaning that you can annotate it, right, and you can give yourself notes to produce the final both model and drawings, right? However, on the final model and the final drawings, we don't need to annotate, not even the grid, and I'm going to talk about that, okay? Um, so that's really good. Good job, uh, Will, right there. Lines. Uh, other than that, I mean, it looks great. Just FYI, for the final one, everything is going to be inked, OK? And I'm going to talk about some sources right here, right? Uh, some pens that I suggest uh, you uh, using. Uh, again, it's open as well. But just FYI, your final drawings are going to be inked, OK? Uh, let's keep going. I'd like to talk about the, uh, and again, in terms of layout, right, let's keep everything in the same location, right? So titles and titles. And again, we talked about the drawing being centered on the sheet. Well, if I go to the next page, right, we'll see that the oh, huh, next page, right? Uh, we see that the titles remain on the same place, right? Good. Uh, but then let's again align the drawing right here, OK? Now, this drawing so this drawing should be a, a, a front view right this front view right here so we talked about um, again uh, centering our our drawing right i'm gonna do this kind of like quickly right here so i'm gonna dash right here so technically speaking we should have a square you know approximately 12 by 12 inches although on this sheet is at a different size right i mean because it's, it's 11 by 17 but we should have that right there now, the largest area right here, or the, the width, right, the 12 inches, or what it's representing the 12 inches, which is the width of the base, right, should also be included, right? So that should go right here, right, right there. Um, and then on top of that goes the model, right, which is kind of what Will has here. Right? So I do kind of like that right here and that right here. Right, um, and of course with the the members right here. I think uh, right here even William drew the the strass. That's really good. 
all right we we are looking for that level of detail right because again as the blueprint we need to be able to understand everything that is going to be a component of this model onto or planning the final model okay so that's uh really good right there will um so again let's just center it right there and make it look look clean um good good that's really good let's keep going through the next one and it'll be the same one with this one but i do see right guidelines very very soft they're actually kind of invisible but you can still see them and you see these guidelines over here okay that's fine guys that's great and again for that you should use a hard pencil i'm going to talk more about that today right uh a 2h right it's it's a great um uh, pencil for that and in terms of guidelines uh, i'm not sure you know you guys know right i mean i would i would suggest do not erase do not go back and try to erase your guidelines i would say from the get-go draw your guidelines as faint and thin and delicate delicately as possible so that once you ink your drawing the pencil lines are still there but they're not even that evident anymore i would really uh, encourage you to avoid going to erase the final pencil lines at the end right so ultimately sometimes what we do is like oh okay good i have my final drawing right here let me go in there and erase all of my pencil lines um there's a couple of things that could go wrong with that the first one and most evident one uh perhaps might be the smearing right um you might um uh you might jump on it too fast and your ink may not be dry and this happens all the times guys it happens all the time that you're racing and then you smear the ink and that cannot be undo right uh so so that's 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 sad so don't do that then then also some surprises that can happen once you're racing and this has happened this has probably happened to you um right that you're racing right you're racing and then what happens right that happens right? i mean you're racing and then you you kind of like bend your sheet like that and that's not good either right i mean you can still go back and kind of like you know kind of like iron it with your hand but there's no need for that and all of that was because we were trying to erase our lines so let's let's not let's not uh let's, let's not do that okay and, and i'm bringing that up so that it doesn't happen to you because it happens every semester okay um that being said guidelines can stay uh, pencil we'll talk about line thickness in a second okay so good job well thank you for uploading this and thank you for allowing us to uh, to see this in class uh, questions um i guess yeah professor i have a question is it necessary to use all the material all the cubes toothpicks and straws i've seen many that do not have all the pieces and i get confused Okay, so that's a great question, Grecia. Um, so let me address that. So, and, and I think I addressed this um, at the beginning of the assignment, but I'll just go ahead and mention the same, the same right? So in terms of the volumes, you, you, you do need to use all of the volumes, right? I mean, that's 10 volumes. Uh, those must be used completely, right? Um, and I'll say the same for the slabs, right? Um, and what I said when we were first starting, if you guys, can you guys remember what I said when, I, when we were just starting this, right? Um, in terms of judging the assignment, right, as an instructor, I, I would give a greater, I would take into account while judging the assignments the, the intelligent use of the materials provided, right? So it happens every semester almost that I get, a, you know, students, particular students that are like, well, I'm very minimal and I'm going for a very minimal, you know, model or a very minimal concept. That's fine. I get it. However, uh, <laughs> not mentioning names we're not pointing names right here it's a fair question and i'm glad that it actually comes up comes uh, uh comes uh, it's coming to to the surface uh, but it's just for me it's, it's again it's about intelligent use of the resources provided right so i'm giving you guys all of these resources to use right deciding to use only half of it it's kind of like going the easy way out right arguably speaking you could say that well no Munoz, i'm very smart and i'm doing this with very very intelligent moves i, I get that i hear you 
However, you know, it's the sign one, right? Uh, prove to me that you can move forward with the challenge of using as many pieces as possible, right? Because it's not fun, you know what I mean? And, and it starts looking kind of empty and it starts looking kind of undone, especially once you compare it to the other models that are using the most materials as possible. So um, yes, uh, it, you, you are, the idea is that you intelligently use the margins and parameters given by the assignment, right? And again, using only half of the provided uh, tools to use, right? Um, especially if it's, if it's a weak, design or if it's a weak concept it brings up a lot of questions right i mean were we just being lazy were we just not having that time right so um yes right for me uh a project of a higher standard right would take on the challenge of using as much as the given materials as possible right Maybe you don't use the two linear feet of one material. Maybe you use one, once 1.5. I don't know. Am I going to measure it? I'm not, right? Am I going to like weight it and be like, oh, I think this model feels a little bit, it feels a bit uh, two linear feet of basswood lighter than this other model right here. I'm not, right? But again, believe it or not, it's kind of evident to the eye. Right, uh, and again, maybe we can start seeing at a collection of this. Right, if we go right here to the physical substances model test stack right here, we can start seeing some of the models right here. Right, and you can start seeing the contrast between all of the work. Right, like for example, um, I think I think this. I'm not sure this model is using all of the pieces right here. I think it is. It's just that, for example, my comment on this model would be that, and actually, I brought this up on a good amount of model is that. It looks interesting only from certain some, from certain views. So this model in particular looks interesting from the top, right? It looks like this, kind of like a cross, and it looks very interesting. However, I look at it from this view, and it doesn't look like this is that exciting, right? I, I don't think this model is utilizing the, the, the pieces in a clever or intelligent way, right? I mean, you're provided all of this material, and all of these shapes and form right here are grounded, right? I mean. I don't know. It's like, why? What? What? What's, what? 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 Uh, couldn't this space right here we be kind of like up here, right? Maybe kind of like create this volume up here, right? And then you know, I mean, you could use some members right here to kind of like hold it right here on the ground, and then maybe there's actually like a larger piece right here that goes up right there. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a more creative, right? I mean, approach to the assignment rather than just laying everything flat right there. But that's what we're doing multiple um, concepts here, right? That's what we're not just, you know, locked into one idea, right? That's what we're actually exploring three of them. Um, but again, I am looking for um, creativity, right? I mean, is it something exciting, right? I mean, is it something that it's, again, creatively and intellectually pushing the boundaries of what we have done the entire semester, right? So I would encourage you to look up your models from all different views right here. And again, remember that you're not only provided a 12 by 12 by 12 area, right? Of course, technically an 11 by 11 by 11, right? But you're also given a 12 by a 12 uh, or a 12 inches height, right? Meaning that this actually is a three dimensional model, right? So in this case, this model is only utilizing, you know, about a third of the provided volume. So for me, also, that's 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 for me, it's undone right i mean that for me that, that that project is not really fully exploring all the given parameters right so what you know what you don't have to elevate everything right i mean but what are some components and i mean you're provided with tall pieces and you're provided with the space right however if the designer does not use it i see that as a fault of the designer right i mean who says that you cannot have taller members here Right, that actually kind of explore, and they could be secondary or even tertiary. They don't have to be the main component, right? But again, it's an intelligent use of the parameters provided to you, 
right? So, you know, in this case, I would argue that perhaps the, the only model that I see doing that, right? Oops, sorry, I think I moved from user. Uh, it's, it might be this one, right? That is actually exploring the three axes, right? The X, the Y, and the Z, right? Rather than just the uh, one or two axes, right? Which is the X and the Y, right? So look at your project from all views, right? I mean, that's why I'm asking you guys to draw this from the top front and the side because, again, should the project be interesting all around, right? I mean, or should it honestly have one interesting face or one interesting um, elevation, right? Again, as a design assignment, right, we want to have exciting components all around. And that's something that I'm looking for, all right? So, uh, and again, the use of all of the given pieces will help you get there right there's something interesting right here right there's crystals um again interesting interesting right these connections right here are going to be interesting to see how we're going to solve those right we can see that they're giving us issues right now right so it's going to be interesting to see how those are solved on the final one right um i was going to like for example this one right here so I think this one, it's it's applying what I'm just talking about, right? Um, I really you like the use of these secondary and tertiary components to imply, right, a sense of volume and 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 unit, right? I mean, the 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 heavy components of the model are within, which are the the blue, the I'm sorry, the blue, the foam board white pieces, right? But then these components right here are actually helping us to frame, are actually helping us to claim surrounding area or adjacent area. For me, that's an exciting, interesting, and, you know, um, you know, it, it's an exciting proposition, right? And I see as an, as a, as space designers that we are, right? And, and I think you should have learned this in the uh, in introduction to architecture, right? There's this idea of the implication of space, right? I mean, is it literal space or are we implying space through components, right? And I think this is what projects like this one are showing. So uh, good job on, on that, uh, Ms. Manjarres right there. There was, uh, this one is also super interesting right here. It's a lot of really interesting stuff going on here. I love some of these planes right here. I mean, they kind of cover a little bit what's going inside. So you, you really have to look at this from different angles. So I really like some of the moments that you're actually getting on this model right here. It's really exciting. Right, this one, you, you see how, you know, it actually even, you know, gets me kind of like, mm, right? I mean, again, guys, I've done this project, you know, I mean, probably three semesters already, right? So I've seen what other students, ha students have done. So this is where my comments are coming from. So in a way, I'm kind of challenging you, right? I mean, can you get me excited? Can you actually, mm, you know, I mean, okay, but, Give me something, right? I mean, uh, okay, it's too simple. Okay, I could have come up with that. All right, that, you know, eh, you know, keep trying, right? Kind of keep trying. And that's what we're doing right here. Uh, there were a few others uh, that I wanted to point out, um, you know, in terms of this implication of space right here. But I'm seeing some new, some new ones. Oh, this one right here. This one that is framing sort of uh, these components right here. That's really nice. Right, that's really cool. This view is beautiful, right? I think this this is a beautiful view. But again, right? I mean, I would uh, I would uh, challenge, right, uh, Luisa, right? Can you get me excited not only about the top view, but can you also get me excited about the side views as well, right? And they're getting there. They're really getting there. But who says, right? I mean, why why can't I have, you know, let's say maybe another one of these rings right here. Right, kind of like doing the same thing that this one and this one and this one are doing on the top view, but now on the um, on the other views right here, right? So you know, and again, I'm not trying to design nobody's project right here. We're just talking, right, and you know, kind of like providing 
um, feedback and ideas, right? I mean, a lot of these things, I'm sure that you can see them and it would just maybe taking you a couple more passes at, at your ideas. But, um, you know, uh, bringing them forward right now can really help you approach the assignment differently, right? And um, again, moments like this one, right? I think this is interesting. And this is actually something that I was going to talk about. I see a lot of projects or some projects and some concepts. Let's talk about concepts. It's, it's not personal. It's about the concepts themselves. I see some of the concepts limiting the use of these mother components right here, right? Uh, in the way that they're mainly just being used as a kind of like, you know, like little patitas, right? Like little legs to hold other pieces. But this is really interesting that in this in this concept right here, this rather than this toothpicks is stopping right here, they actually go all the way up right here. So they actually start creating a second vocabulary, right, or a second you know uh, layer of design onto the face of this volume. That's really interesting, right? That's interesting. At some point, even I would I would even wonder as like, ooh, what would happen if actually this guy right here keeps going all the way up and connects with that? Right, and this guy over here goes all the way and connects that. Right, uh, again, there will there is some structural kind of consideration to be made right there, but uh, again, again, you start being, how do I call it? Um, you start being um, a, uh, I, I right now the word is kind of like uh, you know leaving me, but uh, you become clever about your moves, right? And again, that's what we did a study model, right? Because again, I can guarantee you that if you were to start the assignment all over again, you would start it differently because there's something that you have learned by now, okay? So again, I'm, I'm just talking, I'm just throwing ideas out there because again, I've seen this project done many times, many ways, right? And I can tell you, right, some of the moments that work and some of the ones that, uh, perhaps stand out a little bit more than other ones, okay? But good job, Luisa. Very, very nice uh, model right there. And again, I'm seeing some models right here that I had not seen before. So, um, you know, I love to, to see some of those right here. Um, and, um, okay, anyway, questions keep going on. Um, so, Grecia, that's my answer for your question. Tori, well, I totally forgot of my first one, so that could be my fault. <laughs> no worries, Tori. Uh, I think I did bring it up um, on, on, on your models. Um, but again, you know, I mean, but, but hopefully, Tori, it's something that you can see, right? Hopefully, it's something that you can see, right? I mean, and it's not that it's negative. It's just, it's just what it is, right? I mean, like, hey, like, you know, no, like, spice it up. I'm like, all right, spice it up it is, and, you know, we do that, right? Um... Cool. All right. Throw some salsa on that thing right there. All right. Um, question. So there's going to be two submittals for the final model and final drawings. Uh, can you clarify what those two submittals are, Batra? Why two submittals? I'm going to talk today right now about the final submittals, but I'm curious. Can you maybe clarify what two submissions you're talking about, and then I can confirm if that's correct or if that's not correct. And uh, William, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. And at a base. Yes, William. Thank you. Good job. Uh, sorry, I forgot the story. No problem. Uh, Luisa, yes, I see. Grecia, thank you. You are welcome. Okay, so let me go back right here to the agenda uh, so that we can move forward on this. Okay, so project number three. Uh, Maybe you could do it right here. Nope. Maybe right here. So uh, project number three, right? The the model and the drawings, they're due tonight, right? Again, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. Technically of tomorrow, right? But, you know, you guys know by now. And this is Thanksgiving week, right? Believe it or not, we're there. Um, FYI, um, <laughs> if you did not know. <laughs> Uh, project number four, 50% development. It's due um, the week after, right, Thanksgiving. Um, and I think I set that up for the Tuesday rather than the Monday as well to give you that, that, that Monday extra, you know, so that you can, you can get some time this weekend to enjoy with, with your family or just resting, right? I mean, rather than 
having it due by Monday, you know, if you do it on Tuesday, a 50% upload, but make sure that you do get to that. And then the final one right now, we're set for the 7th, right? Uh, December the 7th, uh, which that would be uh, that Monday. Uh, but again, no problem at all if we need to move it on to that Tuesday. So we have that uh, that little cushion, extra cushion right there for us if we get everything submitted right there for Tuesday. And we have some sort of a final um, presentation or whatnot. I'll talk more about that on Wednesday. Okay. So for the final presentation, um, I would like for you guys to present shortly, and we're not going to get be able to get everyone at the same time in class. So we'll have to do it like uh, the other, like Design 3 is doing in Professor Mireles, right? Uh, and I think I showed you guys this model right here, this video from uh, Ms. Uh, Dominguez. Uh, we'll do something like this, right? We'll do something like this where you um, record a little video of your model, you kind of take us around it, and you also show us your drawing. You know, I say anything from two to three minutes should be fine, you know, and that's even, you know, like pretty generous. This is about two minutes right here. Actually one, no, two minutes, right? So we'll do something kind of like this uh, for your final presentation, since unfortunately we won't be able to be in, present in person. Okay, so that's the big picture of the calendar. Let's actually zoom in into what um, this is asking for. Okay, uh, I think there's a question though before we move on. Uh, William, also oh, that is why there is two submittal because one is only a progress check. That's correct, William. That's correct. It, was that your question, um, Batra? Is that, was that your, your question? I, I'm sorry, I wasn't sure what you're talking about. Okay, so yes, yes, Batra. So for the final project, there's two uploads, right? One is the 50% final model drawings and, and final model and drawings. So it's 50%, right? It's just a progress, right? It's kind of like I'm the owner, right? And I'm, I'm, you're giving me kind of like a, a progress kind of a presentation. Right, it's like, all right, Mr. Owner, uh, this is what we have so far right now for your house, your project, right? Check it out, it's coming along. You know, we're working on figuring out this detail right here. We're working on this elevation right here. You know, we're, we kind of move these things around. We kind of fix these things around, right, from the last time that we talked. But everything is, you know, going well. We're moving along. We have progress right here. Your money is being well spent, right? I'm not just kind of like, you know, laying down in the couch. I'm working on the stuff. And it's looking on track to be delivered on time, which is a week from that day, right? So uh, that's what that 50% progress is for, okay? So good questions. Any other questions on that so that I can clarify? Please let me know. Okay, so P3 is due tonight. That's fine. I show you William's example, and we have seen some of the models that you know you guys have created. Don't forget to tag me so that I can, like for example, yes, right there. So I'm tagged right there. I can, I, you know, right after class today, either stick around so that we can talk about your project, or as soon as I'm done to, I'm, I'm done talking to those that stick around after class. I'm going to log on to Instagram and kind of like give you guys, okay, because uh, I'm kind of picking for you, right? I mean, I'm like, eh, let's go with option number one, Crystal. Let's go with option number three, right? Um, Luisa or, you know, whoever, right? Um, um, and, and after that, right, I mean, because you need that in order to create your drawings, right? Um, and which are due tonight. So we need to know that ASAP. Um, but I would like now, like I would now like to talk about the final project, okay? So again, guys, this is now the final project. This is project four. And I have two slides right here because some of you guys, such as Will, um, are ready to start your final project, right? So, you know, and, and if not, you will be ready soon. Which, by the way, before I forget class, Thanksgiving weekend is this weekend. That means that, well, I think this whole year, the entire family has been at the house, right? I mean, everyone that lives in your house right there has been there with you. But I think everything, everyone should have quality family time 
I have an idea. What better family quality time than your family helping you make cuts and awesome little boxes and glue things and hold things, right? Maybe you have little helpers. You have brothers, sisters, mothers, dads. I mean, this is where that help is needed, right? I mean, this is labor intensive work, right? Uh, of course, you need sometimes getting help is more work because we need to supervise the help, right? But if you manage to get through that, you could actually get some help, right? You could actually get some help in, in accomplishing your model, all right? So just want to throw that out there, you know, just want to throw that out there. I think it's completely fair. Boyfriends, girlfriends, hey, you know, hey, you really want to be spend time with me? spend time right here with me making this model right here it's going to be amazing right put some a hot chocolate on uh, the stove and get some uh some sweets and you know get this model going right here um so hopefully again you're on that you're on that path to start assembling the model because i think assembling the model is what students like the most Okay, uh, just one observation right here uh, on this model, for example, just be very careful, guys, on the final one. Though we don't happen to have kind of like this slanted things right here. I don't know, I might call me crazy, but if I draw a line right here, I think this volume or this slab should actually be aligned to this right here. This should actually be more like that. So you see how, right, rather than being right, straight-ish, as this looks straight, it's kind of like, bloop, right? So that, that's going to be critical, guys. It's going to be critical for your final um, evaluation, OK? So anyway, let me, let me go back to that, all right? So let, let me talk about the final requirements for project number four, uh, both for the model and for the drawings. Okay, I'm going to split this recording, but I'm going to get going right away with the other one. All right, so let's stop.